copy this here. And what I could do is, uh, actually, if the error is empty, I could just put an else statement here. Like that, put something new. Or I could easily put a die here and then put some other code here without the else. Uh, that would work still. So here we we'll say array message. Now the message here will be success, right? Category added successfully, like so. Okay. Whatever message you want to add there, that'll be good. Now the message type is info, it's not error. So we have two types, info and error. And then we may want to retrieve some data. Now this data could be uh, for us to refresh the existing table so that we see some new data there. So we're going to use that to send that data. But for now, we'll leave it as an empty string and just look at the message there. Okay, once we do that, uh, this should actually suffice. So when it's a different type of data that we are doing, we will put an else statement there. Okay, so for now, adding new category seems to be uh, plausible. So let's see what we get now. Now here, since we have these messages here, we can look for array message at this point. Where is this? Let's go back to, to the handle result here. So at this point, what I can say is uh, I can do a JSON, JSON dot parse like this, parse the result. Now this converts the, the string into an object. So I will say variable obj is equal to. Now it's a good idea to uh, to check if the the result is not empty. So if result is not equal to empty, then let's do all this. Okay, so I want us to only close the thing if we didn't get an error, right? So let me put this in there. If we got an error or an empty string, don't close the dialog box. So result is equal to that. And then let's get this here. And then let's make sure we don't have an error. So we're going to say if obj. First of all, we need to know that this actually exists. So obj uh, message, where is that thing? Message type. Right there. Okay. So if to know that it exists, we'll say type of. If type of that is not, this is the same as is set in PHP, type of is not undefined. So make sure you put the quotes there because undefined here is, we're using that as a string. If it's undefined message type, then we are going to go in there. And then we will question it now what type is it? So if message type is equal to info, then everything went well. So we can leave that in there. But then we can put an else statement here. And if it's not info, then it's error. So if it's an error, we're going to have an alert. So we'll say, actually in both cases, we will have an alert. So what I will do here is simply put the alert outside. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, for now, I'll just leave it here. I'll just say message like that, obj message, and copy the same thing and put it there. We'll see how we adjust this over time, but this is how it is. So we'll have different alerts here. We'll not be using this alert. We may uh, 
have a system so that we can determine to tell the user that this is an error or not. Okay, so I think uh, that does it. So let's give it a spin and see what errors we are going to actually get. So refresh the page and let's go to our, as you can see, we have nothing in our database so far. So let's add one category called food. And by the way, it, it would be nice to have a camo case on uh, the category names. So let me come back here and put that here. I will say UC words. So this is in the class, category class. So what UC word does is it gets whatever, how many words are in there and puts a capital letter on each one of them. Okay, so let's see here. So I did that because it's possible someone can use small letters and capital letters on certain categories which will not be good consistency is good so let me hit save and the fact that uh, i haven't had any response here means there's probably an error so let's go and inspect the console to get an error so json.parse says unexpected character at line one so every time you see this unexpected character uh, for the json parse it means the data that was returned is not json it failed to convert that to json and so all you need to do is it means there are possibly errors there so let me come back here and see if anything was actually written to the database and as expected nothing so in order for us to see the error let's go back to our categories.php page and then i will say right here at result before we even try to convert it to json let's just alert so you can use alert or you can use console.log that's entirely up to you so let's try that again refresh add the save food and hit save okay so the reason uh, we are having this problem is because we are returning this data here so let me see Oh, that's actually the data that's being written, data, food. So which means somehow we are still echoing this data in our Ajax class. Are we still doing that? Oh, there we go. So what I'm supposed to do here is say data is equal to JSON decode data. Like that. Good. Okay. So that should uh, fix our problem. So let's come back to business. I'll leave that there just in case we get an error. So I'll click here and say food and then add. Okay, so we have more problems here. So it says a fatal error and call to undefined function load model. Okay, so this function is undefined load model and I need to go to my core controller to see what I actually named it and there it is it's load model so let me copy that and let me come back here Ajax oh so the reason it didn't work is because I didn't use the this uh, keyword so I have to say this like so so it has to be this load model because this is a function within this class the extension of the controller okay so this load model and then this create okay i think that should actually work this time so let's give it another shot here so let's hit since the error was not uh in the javascript we can still just try again here without refreshing okay so code to undefined method ajax load model oh so this this thing is saying um this one is undefined even though we are extending the controller so let's go back to the controller here and see what let me copy that and yeah this is my bad these uh, it's load model like that so copy and paste let's try one more time ref uh, we don't need to refresh actually let me just hit save 
and then we have a message now message please enter a valid category name message type error data okay so it seems we have uh, issues with our preg match there so that's what is causing the problem so let's go to our categories.class and let's see our preg match here so let me try and put trim here to remove trailing and uh, and leading uh, spaces so the spaces at the beginning and at the end of the string so we've removed that and then we have a carrot here so what i will do is i will copy this and go to a new file and just write food and then hit Control F to search and I will paste in my uh, regular expression. So as you can see, the regular expression isn't working. Now that's because I didn't tell it here. I'm, I'm just trying to find one character. So if I were to delete all these, it would actually select the F. And there you go. You see it, select the F. So I want you to select more than one character. So here I have to put the plus sign. Now plus is for one character or more whereas star is for zero or more but we want at least one character so let's put the plus sign and there we go so that's the thing we were missing there so let me close that and let's go back to our preg match and right after this part here let's tell it any number of characters is acceptable so let me come back here to our thing here so let's uh, add new food and hit save so please enter a valid category name again okay okay so we are still having uh, these problems here this is from the server okay all right so still we are having uh wait a minute so if this doesn't match okay so everything seems fine so here i'm just assuming the pattern is wrong so uh let's see here okay so let's remove the beginning and end carrot so i'll remove the dollar sign there let's see how well that works and click save uh, still we have that problem okay so so far uh, so good we're going to sort this problem in the next video because the video has gone on too long i will see you then